Well, as we were talking, Troy, I guess was pulling up the struggle bus. Always coming on in hot. hot. Coming, in, coming hot. in hot. Week 18, the 2023-24 NHL season. You have the first selection this week for the struggle bus. Who are you going with? I do. I'm going, I'm going north, Josh. I'm heading to our neighbors, right to our north, actually, of Minnesota, to the Winnipeg Jets. And this guy, Cole Perfetti. Josh. Perfetti, I know he's still young. He's 22. He was the 10th overall pick in the 2020 NHL draft, currently in his third season. However, the past month has not been kind to Perfetti. You got after a good start, didn't he, though? Like he did. He did. I will. I, I that's okay. my next point. <laughs> my beta breath. I can't wait. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So right now, in his past over the past month, Perfetti has no goals, one assist for one point in those 10 games played. That is not good, Josh. And they need more out of him than that. Definitely. So, yeah, and before this, so Josh kind of hinted to it, Perfetti was actually doing really well. So up until this cold streak started for his last 10 games, up until that point, start from the NHL season, up until the cold streak, Perfetti had 14 goals, 15 assists for 29 points in 40 games played. So doing really well. On the season, he, Perfetti has 14 goals, 16 assists. If you do the math, you probably realize that. 30 points and 50 games played. Projecting this out, he's on pace for 49 points. Now, Josh, I was thinking about Perfetti a lot, and I was like, hmm, I wonder just kind of what happened. There wasn't a lot of – I didn't find a lot of Winnipeg Jets media writing that much about him. But then I started thinking about he has a little connection with the Wild. Mm-hmm. And Ryan Hartman, if you remember, Hartman is the one who – basically got suspended for intentionally high sticking Perfetti on New Year's Eve. And I'm curious if he had any lingering effects from that. And then Hartman kind of got in a kerfuffle because it's basically on audio of him telling Perfetti he, in, he went after him intentionally to as retribution for Kaprizov getting injured by, I believe, when they played Winnipeg. But I don't think Perfetti was involved in Kaprizov getting injured. So we decided, I guess Ryan Hartman decided to take it out on Perfetti. But no, I'm it was a Dylan guy that injured him. Yeah. What was yeah. his name? I, I, I keep thinking of the, the guy, the other guy with the whole legal thing. Oh, Dylan, Dylan Dube, Danis. Dube or Dube or Dube. Is it Dylan Danis? Is that who it is? Well, why I can't know. I think of it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would say bad karma for your team trying to kill our superstar. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, our uh, our Winnipeg friends probably not happy with our Minnesota Wild, but there's five hundred thousand well, Kaprizov Young Guns PSA ten holders <laughs> that are counting on him. Stop! You're trying to kill the hobby. Is what yeah, they're trying to kill do. the hobby. So that's that's our boy Perfetti. One point in his last ten games. Need a little more out of him. I believe, and I forgot to look this up. I believe he's on the second line. He's getting really good. He's getting decent ice time every night. So it's not like. He, He's third or fourth liner and getting, you know, 12 minutes. I think he's getting a little more than that. But that's what we got now, right now for Perfetti. Josh, he's a 2021 Young Guns. PSA 10 pop is 1,022 with a gem rate of 59%. Recent sales have been in that 40 to 55 US dollar range. It's stayed pretty flat in that range over the past month. Even if you go back to October, there's a couple times it'll spike over 60, maybe 65. But it usually fall, it usually just gyrates in between that range of 40 and 55 US dollars. Cole Perfetti. You know that Eminem opened up a restaurant chain, right? <laughs> Something about spaghetti. Yeah, here mom's goes. spaghetti. Yeah, there Cole we go. Perfetti eats that mom's spaghetti. There we go. So that's all I've been thinking the whole time you've been talking. <laughs> okay, for our next guy in the struggle bus, it, it hurts a little bit. Yeah. Now we could be, I guess, accused at times of being a little bit of homers for our wild and gophers guys here in Minnesota, but just to prove that we don't just bask in the sunshine of our <laughs> players' success, where we gotta call it as we see it, Troy. And when you have zero goals and two assists in your last ten games played, yep. then you earn a ride on the struggle bus, even if you're a beloved alumni of our Golden Gophers, Troy. We're talking about Matthew Nyes. 21-year-old forward for your Toronto Maple Leafs. Yep. And the season nice now is eight goals, 10 assists for 18 points in 47 games played, giving him an 82-game pace of 14 goals, 31 points. I wouldn't say super that this is great news for one of the Series 1 big chases, of course. 
There's a lot of hype after he joined the Maple Leafs for their playoffs run last season after our Golden Gophers predictably blew the national championship game. <laughs> and it was that very solid playoffs run that I think propelled them to make the team on a camp. Where, where then he became one of these guys this year that just skipped a lot of the development, right? Yeah. Straight to the NHL. No, he, he's never played in an AHL game. Hmm. So I don't know in these situations, maybe you could put like Slavkovsky in this bus too, that maybe when you have these guys that just jump right to the NHL where we're sort of witnessing their development in real time and not in the relative obscurity, maybe of the AHL that they're going to be up and down a little bit more. And I guess along those lines, one of our favorite publications, we reference a lot, the athletic did a great profile on his rookie season, how it's going a couple weeks ago. And, Here's a really good excerpt that I think describes Matthew Nye's 2023-24 to this point. It says, it's gone about as expected. Some ups, including a two-goal, three-point October outing in Tampa. Some lows, too, including a recent and very brief stint on the fourth line following a stretch that saw him struggling to put up points and looking worn down. And then Sheldon Keefe, the Maple Leafs coach, said, we're seeing a young player that's adjusting to the league. So... Makes makes sense, but now had now would Sheldon Keith be happier if Matthew Nyes chased down someone who slap shot it and empty net goal and chased him to the boards and started hammering him in the head? Did you see that? Yeah, the Ridley Greg, right? The Ottawa Senators. Yeah, and Morgan rookie. Riley. I think it was Morgan Riley that chased him down, if I remember right. Yeah, well, you're much more ingrained in the hockey culture than I am, so I'm going to give you my take, and you tell me how much this sort of vibes with what you think. I put that whole thing in the same sort of like, I, I make the comparative to baseball and all those stupid unwritten rules <laughs> that baseball had, yeah. right? Like if you hit a home run, you have to drop your bat. You can't drop it too slow. You can't drop it too fast. You have to do just right. You can't look left or right. You can't smile. Yeah. And you have to run at exactly a 14.37 mile per hour pace. <laughs> Otherwise there's going to be a bench clearing problem. Yeah. And this is kind of the same way. I, I sort of fall into the if you if you're going to be mad that somebody scores a goal, then don't let them score a goal. Yeah. And, and I think actually it was super cheap and dangerous yeah. for how Riley hit. Right? Whether it's whether it was in line with sort of this the um uh, what what do you call it the gentlemanly nature of the game or just the whatever. unwritten rules basically unwritten rules. You don't go and potentially injure a guy because of it but yeah. th that's my thought so how does that i'm guessing that kind of old school hockey guys yeah. have a much different take well yeah you're gonna have old school versus new school there's it's a very it seems like a very black and white issue i like no one's in the middle it's either yeah he got what he deserved mess around and you find out i'm using better language or nicer language than that or else it's you know stop getting mad let them do what they want show some emotion i'm okay with i don't Here's what I'm not okay with. I'm not okay with you going after him and like almost you could like end a career with the, that check to the head. He cross checked him right in the head, if I remember right. And into the boards almost. Yeah, that's where that it gets. I, I have no problem going after him. I have no oh, like problem. hockey hugs or whatever you want to yeah, do. Yeah, hockey fine. hugs or maybe give him a little shot in the calf or in the gut, you know, just something to let him know that hey, we saw it or, you know, we don't appreciate it. But I don't like a complete cross check to the head or going to the head. That's where it gets a little iffy for me. But that's that's how I look at it. So enough of that. <laughs> well, the last thing I'll say is that and even like strategically. You would think shooting a slap shot gives you a much lower. I mean, there's a much higher percentage that you're going to miss the net. Wow, well, He was right? literally and, like one foot in front of the net. <laughs> yeah. OK, All right, let's get back to Matthew Nice. So we watched Nice play a bunch with the Gophers, of course. Yeah. Admittedly, have not watched him a ton other than the playoffs last year, especially this year with Toronto, because we don't get to see their games real often and i probably have made this point before and uh it just pains me to say this but because I, I love them and i love our all of our golden gophers but i've never thought of him as a having like dynamic superstar skill set while watching him play he seems like a really good really solid kind of net front presence battle yeah. in the corners score dirty goals kind of zach not as small but a zach parisi yeah. type scorer and so i don't know like if he's going to be a hobby superstar really ever i would actually probably bet against it if i had to what do you think 
That's what I've kind of thought. I think he'll be a good. I think he'll have a long career. Now it's funny. I hope so, yeah. Zach, well, it's funny you said Zach Freezy because I would love it if he had a Zach Freezy career. Freezy's got 430 goals. Oh, I know. Yeah, that it's wasn't crazy. a knock. Yeah, I'm just thinking like that. That's where I'm getting that. With Nye's having a very long career, but like not not a ton of goals a year. So the hobby height probably won't be there. But if you can put 15 to 25. And have a long career, you'll have a, like a Zach Freezy career where you have a ton of goals. I mean, Freezy's got 880 points. I didn't even I didn't realize it was that high. Oh, he's been a great player, and it wasn't a knock, it was just more like what drives. Well, I'm giving you credit. I, I'm trying to say he's gonna be like I hope he's like Preezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My point is like not knocking Preezy at all, is that it's just not but we saw Preezy for a long time. Mm-hmm. He scores a lot of goals, but none of them are like pretty McDavid type goals. Do you know Cicerelli, baby? Just sitting in front of the net, getting beat up, and put in the rebound. Yep. All right, Matthew Nyes, the 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 1 Young Guns. PSA 10 has a pop, 124. 27% gem rate, less over 103 U.S. dollars on February 7th. Down about 16% in the past week. And down about 41% since the start of the year. Now, that's going to be because uh, this he had, you know when the first Young Guns PSA 10s yep. come out, they always go for ridiculous and then a month or two after that you start to see the prices drop pretty significantly yeah if you if you wait this will probably drop a little bit more uh i, I would i would guess so yeah 